Hello friends, today I am going to tell you how I browse with the Chrome browser much faster using the Logitech MX Master 3. So this is the Logitech option screen which I see. You can see that we have two mouse attached here. This is the M590 and this is the MX Master 3. Let's click on this and see what are the settings of this mouse which I like to keep. The huge advantage of the MX Master 3 is that you can configure the settings of each button based on each app. Let's see how I can configure my Google Chrome browser. So I select the applications and go to the Google Chrome browser settings. And now I can configure these buttons on the mouse according to whatever settings I want to choose as applicable to the Chrome browser. So I'll give you a quick overview of what settings I have kept. This small button here at the base of the thumb which I use as a gesture button. This is the middle button with the scroll wheel and I will use it as a middle button to close the windows. This is a wheel mode shift which allows me to ratchet the mouse one click at a time or to go at a high speed. The horizontal wheel I have configured to navigate between the tabs. Let me show you how I did it. So I chose navigate between the tabs. Many people like to keep it for forward back or volume up and down but I like to keep it for navigate between the tabs and not exactly for horizontal scrolling. Because most of the websites are now responsive and they tend to fit in the same screen size. Horizontal scroll would have been a good option in websites which are horizontally elongated as you see in older websites. But for newer websites which have a responsive design, this is not of much use. Unless you use Google Sheets, then you possibly will need it much more and this might be more suitable to you rather than navigate between tabs. But for most users, navigate between tabs should be a good option. Okay. Now this button, two buttons which you see below the horizontal scroll, the forward one I have given a keystroke assignment you see of CTRL plus W. So you have to select here keystroke assignment and here you have to type CTRL and W and it automatically picks up that code and assigns it to it. So what basically CTRLW does is that when I click this button, it will close the tab. So it is very useful if you use multiple tabs because the horizontal scroll will allow you to navigate between the tabs while this button will allow you to close the tabs without going to the cross icon on the top right every time with the tab. The second button which I you see here I have configured for back. Now back basically means it allows me to browse back from a link which I have opened to the original referring page. So now let's see how we can set all of these to work. So I have opened a few pages here and uh, just some of our property pages and let us see what happens if I move the scroll wheel. So you see I'm just moving my horizontal scroll and it is beautifully navigating between the tabs. So this is how you can scroll horizontally between various tabs and very fast see what different tabs are showing rather than going and clicking on each tab every time to reach it. Now let's go to the website and click let's say this link. Now I'm going to use the back button and you will see that it will go back on the page. So you see I just clicked the button below the horizontal scroll and it came back. Let's do that again. So I click this and I click the back button and it goes back. So I don't need to exactly go back to the top left corner and click back. I can just do this. Now let's say I want to go to this tab and I want to close this tab. Again I press the button below the horizontal scroll 
and you see the tab is closed let me close this another tab just by clicking that button so you see we don't have to go to each tab and click the cross here I just need to click the top button and it will close this and if I just use the gesture button I can immediately see all the tabs which I am seeing so this is a small button which is just below the thumb which allows you to quickly go here and go to different areas which we want to see if I click that button again I come back to my browser I can also close them using the vertical button let's open a few more images so I'm just middle clicking it and new tabs are opening now if I want to close this tab I can also click the middle button and will close it but the button for the closing is much better than this so now you see what I'm doing is I'm in a smooth scroll mechanism however if I click the button behind the vertical scroll I have a ratchety kind of movement here and it glows one click at a time so thank you so much for watching this video I hope you found it useful and you can configure these settings on your mouse and browse the Chrome browser much faster do like and subscribe to our channel